Widgets are elements you can use to easily display various types of content within your WordPress sidebar and footer areas. To see where you can display widgets in your current theme, head to Appearance, Widgets in your dashboard. Simply drag and drop a widget to your preferred location. Alternatively, you can simply click on a widget, select the area you want it to show in, and click Add Widget. You can also add widgets from the WordPress Theme Customizer. Simply navigate to Appearance, Customize. Now from here, select widgets, add a widget, press the one you want, and it will be added. If you want to remove a widget, click on it and press delete. If you'd rather not delete it permanently, you can drag the widget into the inactive widget section. This way, in the future, you can easily drag them right back onto your website and they are already configured. If you want to use a plugin to disable one or several widgets, you can't go wrong with widget disable. This free tool is incredibly easy to use. Once you install and activate it, simply navigate to Appearance, Disable Widgets. On the screen, you can select which widgets you want to disable. Now, just save your changes. This also works for your dashboard widgets. Now, if we go to our widgets page, you'll see those widgets are now gone. Same goes for our dashboard. Another free plugin is Widget Options. This tool lets you disable widgets entirely or only turn them off for individual pages. Once the plugin is installed and activated on your site, you can begin using it by navigating to Settings, Widget Options. You'll see there are a ton of different options here, and we're gonna make sure that we enable pages visibility and devices restriction. You can, of course, actually hit the configure settings button to dive in a little bit more. But now if we go back to appearance widgets and select one of our widgets, we'll see a whole bunch of options show up. For example, I could hide this widget on the blog page and the 404 page. When you're done, just click save. The final method you can use to disable widgets is by manually editing your site's code. We have the code and steps required in the blog post linked in the video description. If you want to export your widget to use on other sites or save for later, you can use the widget importer and exporter plugin. Navigate to tools, widget importer and exporter. If you select the export widgets option, the plugin will create a WIE file for the widgets that are currently active. The code looks a little something like this. And at any point, you could go ahead and add your WIE file back here and press import widgets or do it on a completely brand new website. And there you go. That's all you need to know about WordPress widgets. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.